Hey guys, this is Becky Wolf coming to you today to talk to you about cedarwood. Um, cedarwood is an underappreciated oil, so I thought I would highlight it today because it is one of my favorites. I fell in love with it because of the smell, because it's a really comforting smell to me. I used to live where I would drive past a mill back and forth a couple times probably every day. And I've just always loved the smell of sawdust and fresh cut cedar and stuff. So if you like that kind of smell, then you'd love cedarwood as well. Cedarwood is one of those oils that is very soothing. Soothing for a lot of different things. Soothing for your mind and your emotions. And also very soothing for your skin. A lot of people put cedarwood into um, face creams and hand lotion and any kind of... Um, skin discomforts you can use cedarwood in those types of blends it's great for that because it's like all the other tree oils it's very grounding and balancing for your moods and emotions and just very comforting and it's a great one to use at night for sleep I know a lot of people like lavender and the florals at night but not everybody is a floral fan fan and certainly not myself so I really like to add in cedarwood with my lavender if I want to really restful night's sleep. You only need a tiny bit of cedarwood because it's a very powerful smell. So if you're going to be diffusing it, I would only put in maybe one or two drops of cedarwood with three or four drops of lavender, especially if you have a small room or if you're doing it in a roller bottle, then cedarwood by itself is great or blended with something like lavender or vetiver or even um, Serenity. It's nice to kind of take down those high floral scents and kind of ground it with the, the tree tree scent, which is really nice. So it's a really good one to blend with those if you're not super fond of the florals and you really want that helpful relaxation. So cedarwood, um, on the little bit of the science side, is a, one of those oils that are high in the sesquiterpenes and sesquiterpenols, which makes it great for support for your immune system and great support for your body's inflammation response, you know, inflammatory response. So excellent for seasonal threats and all the things that are going on this time of year. It's also really good to clean with. If you like the smell, you can add it to your cleaners because it's a great disinfectant for all the germs and stuff that you need to clean in your house. If you don't love the smell, then blend it with like a little bit of lemon or something to just bring it out and be really fresh. But it's just a great choice for that. And if you're a gardener, then cedarwood is a really great choice to use in your garden because like peppermint, it has a lot of pest repellent properties. I like to put a couple drops of cedarwood with peppermint in a spray bottle when I'm out in my garden and wherever I see where there's been slugs, ants, aphids, that's also good repellent for moths because if you think of what they used in the olden days was cedar chests and cedar things to keep the moths and the pests out. So the properties in the essential oil of cedarwood are similar and they're really good pest repellent. So if you've never tried cedarwood or if you've never thought about buying it, I thought I would just highlight this underappreciated oil and let you know some really awesome things about it. Okay, have a great day.